Hi everyone, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make a fairly decent gaming computer out of the Dell Dimension E521. It's not very powerful as it is right now, but it will be after I'm done modding it. Uh, this can be done fairly cheaply, and best of all, you can do it without, without replacing the stock 305 watt power supply. First thing you're going to do is this back clamp right here. I'm going to pull it back, and this will release the side panel. Uh, I'm sure you all know how to do this, but uh, just for a couple people that won't. Um, then you just pry off the side and put it wherever you want. And this is the inside of your computer. It may look a little bit complicated for some, but uh, it's fairly simple to upgrade, and I'll be showing you how to do that in just a second. Okay, the parts. I've decided to upgrade the memory to 2 gigs with another 1 gig stick the sound card with a Sound Blaster Audigy, a wireless card, and the video card I've gone with a GeForce 8600 GT by EVGA uh, simply because it packs quite a bit of punch and it doesn't suck very much juice from the power supply as we have a limited power supply to work with here. The first thing you should do is tip the computer on its side and shine a light inside so that you can see what you're doing. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is install uh, the RAM. Now it doesn't really matter which way you put it in, but if it doesn't boot, I'd just uh, open up the computer and switch it around again. Uh, just put the RAM in the slot below the, uh, the last used RAM, and just push on the top until you hear it clicking on either side. You might have to push a little hard, but you won't break it, hopefully. And next we're going to do the card. Now for the main cards. The first thing you're going to want to do is there is a black piece right here. That's going to need to come off. That'll save you a lot of trouble. Uh, there are two screws back here. One here and one here. You're just going to want to take those out and the black thing should fall off. Next is the video card. Goes in fairly easily. Just pick the first black slot and put it into the expansion slot and push until you hear a click. There, it's in. And now, now for the sound card, goes in the same way as the video card, except on one of these white expansion slots. Just push until it goes in. It's in. Now for the wireless card. Sorry if the camera angle is a little bit bad, it's hard to work on a computer with one hand and film with the other. And you just push that in until it's securely in. And that's it. That's as easy as it'll get. Uh, after that, you're just going to want to put that black piece on that I mentioned earlier. goes on fairly easy. And just do up the two screws that you undid before. And put the lid back on, and that's it. The most you're going to have to do after that is maybe load some drivers, 